New trouble for Facebook this morning. A political consulting firm with ties to the Trump campaign, Cambridge Analytica, accessing personal information for up to 50 million Facebook users here in the United States. And now this morning, the chief executive from that company caught on camera, apparently admitting they target candidates with dirty tricks. You'll hear what he says in that video. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, has more on that for us. Good morning, Pierre. David, good morning. That's right. It's a scandal raising concerns about the privacy of millions of Americans using social media. And members of Congress want to know if Russia took advantage. This morning, a growing scandal surrounding how the personal information of up to 50 million Facebook users has been secretly obtained and shared without their consent. Today in the United States, we have somewhere close to four or 5,000 data points on every individual. Alexander Nix, one of the founders of Cambridge Analytica, a political data company with ties to the Trump campaign, touting his research in helping President Trump win in the 2016 election. We were able to use data to identify that there was very large quantities of persuadable voters there that could be influenced to vote for the Trump campaign. A company allegedly engaged in information warfare with financing secured by Trump's senior campaign advisor, Steve Bannon. Now, new video of Nick's caught in a sting conducted by Britain's Channel 4. They will offer um, a large amount of money to, to the candidates. Allegedly telling undercover reporters about what he appears to say is the company's practice of using bribes and sex with attractive women to discredit their clients' rival candidates. Send some girls around to the candidate's house. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You'll bring some Ukrainians in right. on okay. holiday with us. I'm just giving you examples of what can, happen. what can be done and what, what has been done. Yeah. After the Channel 4 story Channel broke, is... Nix released a statement saying he was just playing along but that he had no intentions of breaking any laws. This after Facebook last weekend banned Cambridge Analytica from using any of its material following reports that the company improperly received data. Christopher Wally was an early employee of Cambridge Analytica. He left in 2014, but told ABC News that the company planned to amass mountains of information on Americans. We would ask people to fill out psychological surveys. That app would then harvest their data from Facebook, and then that app would crawl through their friend network and pull all of the data from their friends also. Cambridge Analytica acknowledges the information was improperly provided to them by a third party, but says it was never used and deleted as soon as they learned it was a problem. The company is blaming this man, Alexander Kogan, a researcher hired as a contractor, described by a former colleague as Russian-American. I think that it's really concerning that the head psychologist that we were using, Alexander Kogan, um, was working on a Russian-funded project in Russia on psychological profiling of people. ABC News has been unable to reach Kogan. Congressional investigators tell me they want to know about those ties to Russia. Special counsel Bob Mueller is likely to have high interest as well, David. All right, Pierre Thomas, we know you'll stay on this for us. Thank you, Pierre. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.